Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Andy here. I want to tell you guys about the weird dream that I had last night. Well, it was early this morning. There was a hamster show in town. And I brought Carlos in. And I put him in like this big cage. It was pretty big. But anyway, um, I put some of his own personal stuff in, like his um, bridge and his house and some of his own bedding just to, you know, just because of his own scent, right? But anyway, you know, everybody loved him. They thought he was gorgeous, which he is. And anyway, um, he, no, I went away for just a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes, got back, the poor little guy was scared, and when he seen me, he came running to me, poor little guy, but, um, later on I had to go away again for a few minutes, and when I got back, the hamster was gone, and I thought that was weird because nobody can do anything with your hamster, especially without your approval. But no, I was freaking out. I just thought, oh, he's burrowing under the bedding, but I wasn't sure. I, I knew he, he had to be in there somewhere. Anyway, I went to go and talk to someone, and the one lady said, he's, he's in there. Don't worry. We can't. <clears throat> we can't touch your hamsters without approval. And I'm like, well, okay, well, he must be burrowing. So I went back to his cage. And there was nothing. And I was freaking out. I went back to the lady and said, no, he, he's not there. And she said, you said yourself he's probably burrowing. And I'm like, well, where else could he go? Anyway, I walked around for a little bit, just trying to enjoy the other hamsters and... Well, it wasn't just hamsters, it was uh, small animals like bunny rabbits and guinea pigs and gerbils and mice. You know, things like that. And I got back and there was a little boy, about eight or nine, looking at Carlos's cage and... Um, He's like, where's the hamster? And I'm like, I don't know. He's my hamster. I, I don't know where he is. He must be burrowing. And at the time, I'm like, well, that's where he, he probably is. And anyway, I started to talk to this little boy about hamster care, about, you know, what size of enclosure is recommended, but I recommend bigger than the 40 gallon um, because he wanted to go and buy a hamster he wanted a hamster for his birthday and anyway we were talking about you know wheel sizes and, and all that kind of important stuff <laughs> but no um, I didn't see Carlos and I, I was like I was getting really concerned but again, I knew he had to be borrowing or something. And I went to talk to a lady and I'm like, you know, this is ridiculous. I can't see my hamster. And she's like, Amanda, your hamster is fine. He's in there. I told you we cannot do anything without your approval. And I'm like, well, can you help me look for him? And um, she's like, if it puts your mind at ease. And I'm like, thanks, I appreciate it. I'm sorry for being a pain in the butt, but, you know, this is my hamster. <laughs> and anyway, um, we got back to his cage, and he's just sitting there. You know, he, he must have been borrowing, because this bedding was 
probably 15 in inches deep. And that's a lot, especially for like, you know, uh, an event that's going on for a couple of hours. A and then he kind of, it's kind of funny, but in the dream, it looked like he smiled at me. Because he was happy to see me. And anyway, I brought the hamster home. I said, you know, I I'm bringing him home. You know, this is a lot for him. And I don't know why, why I even brought him there, but I don't know. I, I guess in the dream, we got prizes for the hamsters. Um, like I said, it was kind of like for a hamster show. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. And if anybody else has any kind of dreams like this, feel free to let me know. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.